On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to get started with Tinkercad to design a chess pawn. And then I'm going to show you how to take it further and send it off to Shapeways so you can get one made in sandstone. I'm going to show you all those steps in today's episode. I like to use Tinkercad, the free online software, to create a lot of the 3D designs that I print on my 3D printer. One of the great features about Tinkercad is it has these practice or tutorials that you can run through and it step by step teaches you how to use the software. One of those tutorials teaches you how to build a chess pawn. Well, I did that one and I learned quite a bit about using Tinkercad. I went further and learned a lot about my printer, my DaVinci printer that if I take two of these and print them next to each other, it gives the plastic time to cool. So there's a lot I learned along the way and then I went on and printed a whole bunch of pawns for my chess set. Then I thought, you know what I'd like to do is take it a step further and send the file to Shapeways and see how it comes out if I print it in, say, sandstone and make my own chess piece. So let me start by showing you how to get to the tutorial in Tinkercad. Now I keep calling it tutorial, but it's really under the learn category of Tinkercad. And they call them lessons. And there's several different lessons to choose from. There's things that just teach you basic blocks. Uh, there's ones that teach you how to put script on there or words. Even one to build a wrench. But we're going to build the chess pawn. Click on start lesson and it takes you to this screen. And at the bottom, there's a guide that takes you step by step. The first step is to bring across the cylinder and you place it within the outline that they show. The next step they ask you to resize the height of it. So you just grab the top, drag it down until you see the three millimeters that it wants. And through this process you learn other things like moving the work plane on top of the previous part you just made. So now when you drag the cone here into its outline you're basically putting it right on top of the previous disc that you made. These are really simple little techniques, but you're learning by doing, which is it's absolutely great. So step by step, you'll go through and you'll make your chess piece. By step 12, it's going to teach you how to rotate a part. So you grab the arrow, turn it 180 degrees, and now you position it inside the outline. And in this case, you not only got a, a flip at 180 degrees, you can't get it exactly to the outline unless you raise it up. So you grab the arrow that's at the top of the part, the black arrow. Here, I'll pull it out so you can see it a little easier. Pull it up and get to the height that you want. So you're learning by doing. It's not giving you every step. you got to figure some of this out. But in fact, you can see how I don't have things lined up here. Even though I placed it inside the outlines. I've got something messed up here. The triangle on the back is way out of position, so I'll just grab that and slide that forward. So it's not perfect. You know, if you get it in the outline, you think you got it right, but you'll learn by doing. By step 16, you've pretty much created the pawn. And then it teaches you another little trick that's nice to know is if you grab the work plane and just drag it to an unknown area, it brings it back to where you started, right at the bottom of the part. In step 18, it introduces a little feature called a line. Now, it doesn't show you the drop down menu, it just mentions it, but really you just highlight it all and then you hit a line. And then you click on these little discs to align it in an X and Y direction. Now, it says something about aligning in the center, but that's, that's not what you want because if you click that, everything centers around that point. So we'll undo that. But that's it. The pawn piece is pretty much created. And once you're done and you click on the last step, then you group it all and then click group. And you've got your complete chess pawn. And when you hit the next button, you get a little celebration. And once the lesson is done, well, then you got to go back to the main menu, click on it. And then you want to, from the big picture, click on copy design. And this will open up a copy of it, leaving the original lesson alone. And there you can click download for 3D printing into .stl. And now load that same print that you just created into your XYZware. 
Now I'm actually going to load two of them here because I want to print two of them side by side. And that's how you would do it, just basically two different versions of the same file and then position them however you want. Here I position them towards the front and then side by side and then I chose excellent mode and I added supports to this one mainly because of this little area here I just wanted to make sure that that came out good now I've printed it both ways and I found supports actually help 20 percent and 0.2 was good for, so from there I clicked export and from there I could see what the results were it would take about 47 minutes and a little under two meters of plastic and here's one of the pawns printed and it looks really good. So now to send it to Shapeways, I go right back to Tinkercad in that same screen where I loaded it for download for 3D printing, except now I click on Order 3D Print, and then I have four choices. I choose Shapeway, Print 3D, and it sends the file to Shapeways. I click Continue Printing, and it takes me to the login screen at Shapeways. So once I'm logged in, it takes me to this screen, which shows my 3D print, and now below it, it's going to show me all the options I have to print this. I've got strong and flexible plastic. I've got, let's see here, metallic plastic. I've got detailed acrylic. I've got stainless steel I can print it in. And you can see it gets a little bit more expensive over here. And then there's precious metals. I can actually print one in 14 karat gold for like $2,300. That's an expensive pawn. And then there's sandstone and then wax. You can do wax in case you want to make a mold out of this and make your own pieces out of plaster or something. So I'm going to choose the sandstone unit for $5.88. I click on add to cart and then I go look at the cart and it's going to show me the shipping charges. Now there's several different shipping charges. I chose the $4.99 which shows it here coming in 27th to 29th of January. I already ordered one, so mine should be arriving in a few days. Okay, so the package arrived, and it came straight from Shapeways through through First Class Mail. It took about two weeks. Let's see what this looks like. And it is packaged pretty nicely with bubble wrap. Don't need that. Don't need that. Oh, there it is. Packed inside. Large bubble wrap. Hmm. And here is the piece in sandstone. Ooh, quite nice. Very smooth. Well, I mean, it's got a roughness of sandstone, but the, the edges, there's no lines. There's no 3D print lines. It looks nice. So here's, here's my original print in red, which had some flaws. It was printed individual. And then here's a white and black that were printed multiple. This had like eight pawns at the same time, same with this. And then here's a sandstone. So I guess really, there's the evolution. Went from here all the way up to this. Not too bad. So there we have it. That's how you make a professional 3D print using Shapeways. Now there's three other ones you can choose from on Tinkercad. I checked their prices. They're all about the same. Shapeways I think is probably the biggest, but I don't know for sure. I know they're the most popular that I've seen advertised pretty much everywhere. But it's nice to know that if you get a design that you really like, and you want to make a professional version of it, it's that easy. A few clicks and send away your file. And that was from Tinkercad. You know, this wasn't from some professional 3D CAD. This was just the online Tinkercad. And the, the results are really, really good. I'm really happy with this. This is, you know, it may be worth getting trying one of the other materials and getting a really nice chess set. But that's for another day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. See you next time.